Hi all, um, Mr. Rush here speaking to you about the Leave Insert business as an option for a subject for you if you're going into fifth year next year. So you have a variety of subjects you can choose from um, and Leave Insert business is, is a good option guys. So the book we use is Inside Business. It's a new book. Uh, we only started with it this year. It comes with a workbook. It's very up to date, very modern. A lot of um, what's happening in the world at the minute in it. So you have Brexit and um, trading within the EU and stuff like that. Very up to date and modern, but good examples. Throughout the course, guys, there is seven units and them seven units have 26 chapters in them. So how would the Leaving Cert exam look? I know you're a long way from thinking about a Leaving Cert exam, guys, but um, the breakdown of the paper, it's one paper. You've got 10 short questions based on the whole course. You do any eight. And they're not just writing, guys. There's a little bit of maths. There's a little bit of drawing. There's a match in boxes, um, abbreviations. Section B is an analyzed business question. So we'll know, the, we'll know the topics to cover for you, and we'll cover them in depth. And then you'll get a case study to read on the day you're leaving cert and answer questions on that. But we can kind of predict what's coming up there. In section C, you've got seven long questions and you must do four. Um, they're essay style questions, but answered with a bullet point, guys. So in fifth year, guys, this is the layout of how we would work throughout fifth year. Unit one is made up of three chapters, chapter one, two, and three, and it's all about people and business, the different types of people that are in business, the laws that they have to abide by, etc. Unit two is on enterprise. So you'd be looking at different skills and characteristics of an entrepreneur and how you could be enterprising. And unit three is all in management. Um, examples of that would be leadership, motivation, communication, different types of management skills. Unit four is another management area where you're looking at planning, organizing, and controlling. And unit five is business in action. So you'd be looking maybe a little bit of graph work there, um, maybe some ratio work, things like that. So at Christmas, or sorry, at the end of fifth year, guys, you will have five units done. That's the aim, five out of seven. So you get the bulk of the course done in fifth year. So there'll be a variety of different methodologies used in class, guys. It will be, it won't be just all note taking and exam question techniques. We'll be doing different things within groups as well. So when you come to sixth year, guys, you have five units done. That just leaves you with two little units left. So domestic environment is how Ireland and how we work as a country, trading and our business. And unit seven then is international environment, looking at different countries around the world and how they trade and their barriers to trade and uh, the EU and so on. So most people like the unit six and seven. It's very topical at the minute. So we hope to have that done by Christmas. And then you have your mock and your leave and start revision going from January to May. So you have a lot of months there, guys, of revision of where you can work hard and really catch up on anything you missed. And it will be a strict kind of a revision regime we'll put in place. And again, we'll be focusing on that analyzed business question throughout. How we assess guys within our school and a variety of different ways. Um, at the end of every chapter, we'll give a little, we'll do, we'll revise the chapter in depth with exam questions and give a test. And the same at every unit, we'll revise the unit in depth using different types of methodologies and then give a little test. Um, Christmas tests will be based on everything we've learned since September. Summer tests will go from January to the summer. Um, the layout of your answers, guys, and even for business is key. Um, yeah, you do need to have a lot of information on board and you need to be able to learn things, but it's how you get it onto paper then. I've seen students before who've been excellent at learning stuff, but can't get it onto a proper structure on paper. So they want you to state your point, explain your point and give an example. So it's important that you're listening to what's happening in the world. And that new book we have is very good because there's plenty of good examples. So if I asked you a question like about a country Ireland traded with, you need to state that country, you need to explain some knowledge in that country, and you need to give an example of how that country trades with Ireland. Looking at the results, guys, the last number of years, the results in business have been excellent. They've always been above the national average. So here's just a couple of little facts going back on what we have. 86% um, of students who took business in St. Joseph's complete, completed the higher level paper. So 86% of people who do the subject will end up doing higher level. The national average is 79, so we're above the national average there. From those students, 85% got between a H1 and a H5. Again, it's above the national average. So if you're gonna do higher level business, there was 85% of those who did higher level business got between a H1 and a H5. Now that's important guys, because you're gonna be using that for points for college possibly. 
All right. So basically, guys, the breakdown of that is if you do leave insert business and if you put in the work, you will end up doing a higher level and you will probably end up with a good mark as well. I think last year we had four H1s. So it's definitely achievable, but you need to have your structure right and you need to know your work. And finally, I suppose, why would you pick business or who is it suited to? Like if you're a student who's willing to work hard, guys, if you're a student who can learn off information and get it back onto paper, business will suit you. You don't have to have a uh, junior start from junior start business done. Like the majority of students who do leave and start business actually will not have done junior start business, will go into TY and do enterprise, enjoy it, and then say business is for them and pick it. Like some of the better results we've had in the last few years are students who have not done junior start business. Now it is a help to have it, of course, but if you didn't, that's fine too. Um, it requires a lot of learning, all right? So you need to be able to learn off your work. Um, a little bit of maths, nothing too stressful, just a couple of graphs and maybe ratio work. So ideally students, you should have an interest in what's happening in the world too. So if you are keeping an eye on the news, every week we'll have a little business corner where we talk about different things that are happening in the world related to business. And you need to be able to use them in your example. Remember that state explain example? That's where you put in them examples there. So you need to be keeping an eye on what's happening in the world of business too. So if you're organized, you have a good attitude, you're willing to do work guys, and you can learn and get structure answers, business is a subject for you. If anyone wants to contact me, um, if hopefully we'll get back to school, you'll be able to see me come and ask me about the, the subject. And if not, send me a message in Teams and I'll give you any information you need. All right. Thanks for listening.